Hi, I'm an esophagus. You can call me Gus for short. I am the stretchy tube inside of you that goes from the back of your throat to your stomach. My job is to send food down to your tummy. <coughs> oh yeah, I also send burps up. That's just how I say hi. Let me introduce you to my friend Phil. He's an eosinophil, which is a type of white blood cell. Phil protects you from parasites like worms. Yuck. Phil's job is to keep you healthy. Phil patrols certain parts of your body, like your lungs, stomach, and intestines, for parasites. And when he finds them, he attacks them. At first, Phil and I didn't get along. That's because Phil really doesn't belong in the esophagus. Sometimes Phil can get confused and think that certain foods don't belong in your tummy. When you eat a food that you are allergic to, Phil and his other eosinophil friends will stomp in and attack. When this happens, it can make your esophagus, that's me, and you feel yucky. Phil can sometimes cause allergies like hay fever and asthma. And when Phil is hanging around, he can also cause a condition called eosinophilic esophagitis. I call it EOE because that's way easier. I'm not the only one who can have problems with Phil and his friends. There are different types of eosinophilic gastrointestinal disorders, or EGIDs for short. When you have problems with eosinophils in your stomach, it's called eosinophilic gastritis. Problems in your esophagus, stomach, and intestines is called eosinophilic gastroenteritis, or EGE. And if fills are all the way down in your colon, it's called eosinophilic colitis, or EC. But Phil's really not a bad guy. He's trying to keep you healthy. He just gets confused sometimes. To stop eosinophil and his buddies from marching around where they're not supposed to be, you may have to take medicine from your doctor that helps calm Phil down. Or you may have to avoid the foods that confuse Phil. That's what I do. My doctor put me on a special diet. But some people just take a special medicine that they swallow to help them heal and get better. Not everyone needs a special diet. Once we figured out what foods were making me sick, Phil and his friends went back to the blood vessels where they belonged. At first, I thought it was going to be really hard to avoid certain foods. But once I felt better, I didn't even miss them. I was afraid I wouldn't be able to go to parties or over to my friends' houses. But I can do all the same stuff I used to do. Now, I just eat before I go, and I bring my special energy drink of elemental formula with me for when I get hungry. It's packed full of all of the nutrients that I need to grow up strong and healthy. And if my friends and teachers don't understand, I just ask them to go to the appfed.org website so they can learn more too. Well, thanks for letting me share my story. It was nice chatting with you. Bye.